Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see here, I have a review of Castle Arts uh, colored pencils. This is the 120 set that they do. Um, now, there's actually quite a funny story behind these pencils. Uh, I'll quickly get into it and then I'll get straight into the review. So, I had seen these pencils about six or seven months ago. I'd seen them on somebody's review and ordinarily, as a rule, I don't watch other people's reviews until I've reviewed the product myself. I don't want to be subconsciously influenced by anybody else's opinions on uh, a certain product. I want to make sure that when I do a review of something, that it's it's all me and you know nothing, no opinions are taken from anybody else. Um, all in all, they, they they got a really really good review, and from people who I considered you know. Um, respectable reviewers so i thought to myself right i'm definitely going to have to get these test them review them myself so i bought a set of them bought a uh, 120 set just before christmas the strangest thing was when i opened them and i lifted out the the pamphlet from inside it right down at the bottom there was an address there and the address was right around the corner from where i live so i was completely blown away by that i thought that's crazy so i thought that that might have been just like a, a, a an address that they use for mail here in the uk or something like that but it wasn't it's um it's where the company's uh headquarters are they are a british company they are from here in durham um i just thought to myself you know i'll reach out to the company uh speak to somebody and just tell them that i just live around the corner from them uh, Lo and behold, I got a, a, a an email back from the co one of the co owners of the company saying that um you know they they had checked out my website and stuff like that and uh, w they were interested in meeting up and having a chat and a conversation about their products and what have you and all the rest of it. So we did. Uh, I mean, the guy was completely blown away by the idea that they wanted to to meet up and have a chat with me. But uh, I met up with one of the owners just after the new year and I, I have to say um first of all i'm not being sponsored by them or anything like that like any reviews i do i don't get sponsored paid or anything like that by any of the products i review um i it's always been a a, a stance of mine never to do because if i do that then i think even Without trying to convince anybody else, I think even myself would be a little bit biased towards the product one way or the other, even if I don't mean to be. Uh, so I've never, ever done it, never will do it uh, or anything like that. But I just wanted to, to put that out there. So anyway, um, I went and I had, I mean, like I've been to lots of different companies and sat down and spoke with them and uh, give my opinions on certain things that they're doing in the future or planning to do in the future. But I, I don't. You know, I'm not paid by anybody. Anyway, so I meet up with this guy. I was completely blown away that they wanted to meet up with me. Met up with this uh, gentleman. Uh, and we sat down and had a conversation. Now, I was, com I was staggered by the plans that this company have going forward. The, the attention to detail that they do. But mo most importantly, uh, you know, th their plans for the future are great but how much they listen to their customers and try to implement things as best as possible they can to make their customers happy is just phenomenal and I'll, I'll, I'll explain that as I'm going through this review um, and there's a couple of other little unique things about this set of pencils that I want to talk to you about or not the pencils themselves but the way the company have package this and put it together uh, and I'll talk about that as we go through watch this video all the way to the end because I'm I am doing a giveaway this 120 set it's a full brand new 120 set I will be giving away um, and anybody doesn't matter where you are in the world you are can enter into it I will package it and ship it off to you but um, Stick around to the end of the video for the details, find out, and uh, I'll give a date as to when I'm going to draw the winner's names, that type of thing as well, okay? So, like I say, this is the 120 set. They also have a 72 set. That's what they started out with, uh, a 72 set. They do lots of other different products, but again, I'll, I'll, I'll cover that in a second. 
uh, the back of the tin uh, just has a, a color chart here. And they also have this color chart on the inside of the tin, the, the lid of the tin as well. Just let me open up and you can see, there you go. Uh, so they have the color chart here. I'll have an image, a better image popping up on the screen here. All the names of the colors as well are down the side. So um, everything's there in the tin. You can obviously arrange the pencils in accordance to this color chart if you want. That's a good thing. That's what I like about having these color charts on the, you know, uh, printed on the actual tin is the fact that you're not going to lose it or uh, and you'll always be able to put your pencils, if you wanted to, put your pencils back into the tin in the way in which they are supposed to be. Uh, there's two little pamphlets in there, but I'll get into these in a second because they're not just like any ordinary pamphlets. Um, at least one of them isn't. So, I'll, But I'll, I'll go through these in a second. Um, so... As you can see here, I'll just show. I'll quickly show you the the selection of colors that they have in here. So you can see here, beautiful selection of uh, yellows and like earthy tones here. O yellow ochres, light ochre, terracotta light. Um, the real uh, the, some really nice flesh tones here. There's like flesh light, flesh and f uh, flesh deep. Um, some beautiful reds. I've done a, a speed drawing and the and I use mainly the greens and the reds in the speed drawing. Um, and the, the, the selection of greens that they have is beautiful. So anyway, this is the, the reds here. And then going on uh, onto the second tier, uh, pinks, purples, blues, and then coming into the aqua greens. Uh, and then the bottom tier has, like I say, this gorgeous selection of greens. Uh, a few browns. I mean, there's when you're talking about browns and what have you, the, there's browns in the yellows. There's like light browns, that type of thing. Browns here, and there's um, there's like six greys. So I would say there's three cool grey and three warm grey. Um, I think for a colour pencil artist, maybe that's okay. Um, I personally would like to see maybe another, another two of each, another two warm grey and another two cool grey. But th that's nitpicking on my part. That's just nitpicking. Because although the greens are gorgeous and the selection of greens are, are just to die for, one or two, I think you could um, get away with changing one or two of the greens, maybe putting a different brown in there, or like I say, the greys. Uh, I think you could do the same with maybe one or two of the blues. You could maybe drop one or two of the blues and replace it with like like I say either a grey or maybe a brown but other than that um this I, I think the selection is is gorgeous um so let's take a look at the the actual pencil but before we get on to the pencil when I was telling you about the company listening to their customers and trying to implement what their customers say when I was lifting out these little um layers you can see here the these little pinch things uh, on these plastic uh, layers. Now, some people don't like those. Uh, some some people are okay with them. Uh, some people are just completely indifferent. But the company got you know feedback from their customers, and some people say they like the um, the, the the trays that have got like the, the string here, so you can like lift it with uh, two bits of string on either side of it. So what what they've decided to do is going forward, they're going to be implementing that but they're going to keep this pinch thing. So the best of both worlds. Now, I know that's only a small thing, but for some customers, it's it's a big thing. Uh, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have contacted the company about it. Uh, and so it's just an example of them listening to their customers and implementing it. So uh, we'll take a little, a little look at the actual pencils themselves. Okay, so as you can see here, the barrel of the pencil is like this beautiful matte black. All the pencils have got this matte black. At the end, there's like a, an inch and three quarter flash, which it has the um, the color of the, the pigment that's actually inside the core of the pencil. So it's your pigment identifier right on the end of the pencil. And each pencil... On each pencil, there's kind of like this silver band that separates the the uh, the matte black finish 
with the pigment identifier. The core itself is, uh, I measured that to be 3.8 millimeters, so it's kind of like an average size core. It's not too thick, not too thin. Uh, the barrel itself is about 6 point, uh, it's close to 7 mils. So it's, it's an average size pencil. Uh, it's a round barrel. Uh, feels really nice in hand. It's not too light or anything like that. I know when you're talking about a pencil, how heavy can a pencil be? But there's certain pencils are just weighted right. I don't know whether it's the wood or, or what it is, but some pencils just feel like air in your hand and some pe pencils feel right. And th th there's a really nice weight to this pencil in the hand. Along the barrel, we have um, the, the pigment name is printed in silver. Uh, and then the pigment number is also printed in silver on the actual uh, pigment identifier. On the opposite side of the barrel is the company's logo, Castle Arts. Uh, and then just up a little bit from that, it just says soft touch. Um, these pencils are considered, the company call these pencils, they're premium soft touch colored pencils. Um, and then the the ends of the pencils are capped off as well. So that's a nice touch. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. So really nice pencil uh, to, to hold. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit difficult seeing the, the, the print and stuff like that. Any print that's either gold or uh, silver in these bright lights, it's difficult to see. But I'll have images coming up so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about properly. So before we get on to showing you the testing and stuff like that, I just want to come back to these little um, pamphlets that I was talking about. So um, on the back of the set, in the tin, and right on the front here, you can see that there's a like a color swatch. But they also have a, a pull-out color swatch that, that you can have as well. Now, the thing about this is, there's actually um, a legend down here at the bottom, like uh, a circle, square, triangle, um, diamond, semicircle, and a like a uh, a hexagon, uh, and they correspond to different colors because not all these colors are what the pencils are. The company also do uh, other products, and so this color chart covers all the products that they do. Uh, and you just got to look at the legend to see which color is which, which, which it belongs to. So, in terms of what they do, uh, like I say, they've got the 120 uh, color pencils, a 72 set. They've got 72 set of watercolor pencils as well. They also do the colored pencils uh, in a, like a zip wallet. So, if you wanted to get that. Uh, you could go ahead and get that. They also do drawn pencils, like graphite pencils. Uh, they've got a 40-piece premium drawn set. I'm not too sure what that is. I will be um, reviewing more of their products going forward. So things like the, the drawn set, the, the watercolor pencils, the, um, the graphite pencils, that type of thing is what I'll be looking at. Um, what's really unique about all of this is if you can... I know you can't see all of the images, but if you look here, all of the sets that they have have got has it's got this beautiful artwork on the front of it, just like the the ten has this castle. Now they have their own resident artist, and their their own artist does all this uh, artwork. But with each product that you get, they have this really uh, cool. I think it's cool in any case step-by-step -step guide of how you can go ahead and try to do the the image that's on the tin yourself and i just think that's really cool really unique because i know a lot of people do that they you know they if if there's really nice artwork on the front of the tin they'll try to replicate it well here they've gone one step further and showed you a little bit of how the artist actually went about creating the the, the image and so they on their facebook page and their website there's ways that you can upload your artwork and show them what you're doing and they're really really interested in that type of thing they're really interested in incorporating their products into obviously the, the customers and the, the feedback and everybody working together and, and creating these kind of like tutorials that uh, people can take part in so as you can see here i mean don't forget i do have the speed drawn that you can take a look at and 
see how these pencils work properly. Um, but I also add these little things on here so you can also see the pencils like layer and that type of thing. And as you can see here, I've done six layers. Now, a lot of people ask me why I just do five or six layers. The reason being is because for those color pencil artists that use odorless mineral spirits, it's generally considered, it's not a rule, it's just generally considered. The, around about five or six layers is when you should start applying your first bit of uh, odorless mineral spirits. Uh, and then once that's all dried, then you can reapply layers. And the reason for that is odorless mineral spirits just breaks down the binding agents and what have you, the pigment of the of the pencil and turns it into kind of like a painterly effect. Whereas if you've, and so the more layers you have on there, the better the results are going to be. If you only have two layers uh, of pencil on there and then you start uh putting odorless mineral spirits on it'll still break down it'll still thin it out that type of thing but you'll just not get the same type of results uh so most color pencil artists not all but most say around about four or five layers maybe six layers before you start using it as you can see here as well i've done a heavy application of it um they are a soft cord pencil so i mean a lot of people would say that they're wax based but you know my stance on wax and oil i prefer to say whether it's hard or soft um so you can see here as well i've got uh done a little bit of mixing of the colors and you can see here that the blue and the yellow have mixed really well to create this nice green and then further on down here i've just used a red and yellow um use the red and the yellow to uh, create these two, this this nice orange here. Um, if I had to nitpick and find one thing about the pencils that um, that isn't perfect is a lot of, like I said earlier on, a lot of people can uh, kind of like compare these to Prismacolor in terms of their softness, that type of thing. Uh, one thing that they they don't replicate from that brand is the, the core of the pencil does not shatter and break. I've used a lot of these pencils uh, in the drawing that I've done. Not one pencil has broke or shattered or anything like that. And in fact, actually, I dropped two. Um, they, they just rolled off the table because they were round and um, there was no breakage whatsoever. However, when I'm sharpening, uh, I'm not too sure whether you'll be able to see it here. But you might be able to see it once the sharpening is finished. This is a brand new blade in here, so it's really sharp. Um, the hand crank sharpeners, I never had any trouble whatsoever. And on this sharpener, I don't have trouble, but I can feel the resistance whenever I'm sharpening. Um, and, the, and like I say, this I am really nitpicking here. Uh, if you take a look at the, the wood, uh, let me get it. If you take a little look at the wood there. Now, if you take a look, little look at the wood there, you can see it's kind of like quite grainy. And so you can feel that whenever it's uh, sharpening. But that is, as, I mean, that's as bad as these pencils get. Whenever it comes to trying to uh, critique them and find a fault in them, that's probably my biggest fault. And that's not really a big fault to be sitting talking about, really. Um. Also, uh, for all color pencil artists, you will know that the black, a lot of color pencil artists don't like to use the black. It's quite flat and it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really lend itself well to whenever you're doing some work. They'll try, most color pencil artists will try to use like their darkest, darkest blues or darkest, darkest browns. The thing I like about this black, and let me zoom in again and just show you this. Uh, I'll also do uh, like a heavy application of it here because it might be better. The thing about this black is there seems to be like a brown tinge to it, which gives it a more natural feel, I think. Uh, it, it's not like one of those just dead blacks. It, it it seems a more natural black to me um but like like i say you know that that is a subjective thing but it's just something that i noticed when i was doing it so
So the other tests that I like to do are seeing how the colors fare on black paper. So I'm just going to lay these colors down. We'll see how, um, how opaque or how um, how much the opacity is on these pencils. But you can see there with the red, I'll zoom in in a second. There's quite a lot of opacity there in that red. In other words, you can see quite a lot of the black through it. Some, some, I suppose the best way of uh, describing this type of test is like watercolors and gouache. So gouache is like a thicker version of watercolor. Uh, and that's what this test does. It's just like this blue is really opaque. So it's really, you can't really see any black through it. Whereas with the red here, um, you can still see a little bit of the black paper behind that. Even if I, and I, and you know, I'm just putting heavy applications down here. I'm not layering or anything like that. I'm just showing you what the pigment looks like on black paper. Uh, the yellow is a little bit better, but the blue, you can see there, the blue is really nice. And then uh, I've got a green here. This is like a light green. And you can see there, it is a little bit crumbly, but that's because I am uh, using quite a lot of pressure. So just let me tilt this a little bit. I know the lights are bright, guys. I'm sorry. I will have an image pop up on the screen for you and you'll be able to see it better. But unfortunately, the lights have to be bright. Uh, and then their white pencil. Now their white pencil, it's not very, it's not incredibly opaque, but it is a nice white pencil. Um, and don't forget when I'm talking about these pencils, I'm talking about these pencils in comparison to um, pencils in and around the same type of price bracket. Okay, because that's that's what we're you're you you're going to really want to compare them to. You're not going to. It'd be unfair to compare them to, say, like a luminance or something like that because they're nowhere near the same price bracket. Uh, so that's what I'm taking into consideration here when I'm doing my reviews. But again, I'll have an image pop up on the screen here, guys. But it, the, the white is quite nice. It's not super opaque or anything like that. It's not going to uh, pull out a lot of highlights for you or anything. But uh, it is nice. Okay, guys, so that is my review for the Castle Arts Premium Soft Touch Color Pencils. Now, for information like prices and things like that, I have them all on my written review. You can go across and you can have a look at that for the different prices in the different countries, that type of thing. Uh, they'll all be over on the written review. Uh, if you're new to the channel, the reason I do that is because I can prices change all the time. If I mention the prices on a video, uh, it's going to look daft in a year from now when these pencils aren't that price. Uh, I can change the prices on my written review anytime at all. Uh, whereas once I say it on a video, that's it, it's stuck. So details like that are over on the uh, written review. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm doing uh, a giveaway. And that is this full set of 120 Castle pencils you can see i haven't used these at all they're at, it's an absolute brand new set um and it'll come with like i say these this little pamphlet so whoever whoever wins them will be able to um give this a go trying to draw this castle so really really and i think that's a really cool touch um as soon as you, anybody gets a new set of pencils they can open up the tin and immediately just you know take a look at this and have a go at trying to, to replicate it. I think that's a really great idea. And you know, it's it's not, for such a good idea, it's not taking up a lot of time or it's not taking up a lot of space or anything like that. It's just there, it's a quick tutorial uh, and it's just to get some, uh, the artist started. Uh, so 
if you want to win this beautiful set of uh, um, 120 color pencils, all you have to do is leave a comment uh, on this video down below. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just the reason why you must leave a comment is so that the software that I use can select your name at random uh, when it comes to announcing the winner. Also, if you like the video, please leave a like. It, it, it helps the video out. Apparently, I, I wasn't aware of that, but uh, likes on the videos does help. But only, only give it a like if you have got something from the video. Don't do it just to support the channel or anything like that. Um, and also, um, the winner will be announced. So I will announce the winner on the 10th of March. I think the 10th of March will give plenty of people time to uh, add their names, that type of thing. It's, so it'll run over about a month and a half, that type of uh, time span. So all you've got to do then to, to, to enter, leave a comment down below, leave a like, and if you wanted to, share it with your friends, get as many people as uh, possible to uh, enter into this competition and then somebody's going to end up with a brand new 120 set of colored pencils um and that's it guys if you've got any questions at all that you want to ask me about these pencils or the company or anything like that please by all means leave them down in the comment section or if you just if you'd rather keep it private you can email me uh, my email address is always in the uh, description box down below or you can uh, text me on Facebook or uh, Twitter, any of those other social medias. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well, because I'm always putting up like work in progress images of the artwork that I'm doing or like images of new art, art products that I get. Just giving you an idea of what's coming later on down uh, the, the pipeline. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this review. I really look forward to uh, hearing what you have uh, got to say about these pencils or if you've got any questions about them. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.